Good morning, friends. Welcome back to Acre Homestead. It is moving day. Josh and I have been up super early. We have hired help. We have movers and packers. We've never done this before. And so we actually have packed about 80% of our stuff. The main reason we wanted to do that was so that we could just get rid of whatever type of things that we have around here that we just aren't using or just don't need. And if we had the packers just come in and pack everything, they would pack everything and then we would have to deal with it when we get up to the new house. I've gone to Goodwill or the different donation centers around here five times with my car completely filled with goodies. It is early, we got up about 6 a.m. and we're supposed to meet the movers here between eight and nine and we just keep working as we go. I actually have to head up to the new house because the painters are done, they finished last night. So they're gonna give me the key, they're gonna get their um, tools and we're gonna see the paint job for the first time. So let's drive up to the new house. Josh is gonna be here in case the movers get here. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. I'm a little bit nervous. We're just we're just not sure what to expect because we've always had, you know, family and friends and us do all the work. And so to have someone come in and help us, we're really excited to not have to help um, enlist the help of family and friends because right now all my family and friends and Josh's have tons of stuff on their plate just like we all do. And so we're excited to be able to have the ability to have the help, but we're just not exactly sure what to expect. So I'll keep you guys posted. It sounds like the dump truck is here, which is great because we had a lot of stuff to go um, that needed to be thrown away. So I'm gonna drink a little bit of yesterday's coffee. I just put some more fresh ice in it and we're gonna head and see the, how the paint job went. So this here is what my car has looked like five times now where we have just been saying goodbye to the things that we don't need and the things that we can live without and the things that are just taking up space and brain capacity and physical space in our house that we're just not using it's not functional for us and it's just one more thing to manage every single item of things you have you have to manage and i'm ready to manage a little less stuff let's get on with this day and i'm excited what today's going to hold for us I wanted to show what the kitchen looks like. We packed up this kitchen, about half of it together, and we have about half of it left to go. So I'm hoping I can get up to the new house and back down to help them continue to pack. And then this is the garage. The garage is about half done, and Josh is gonna go through some of that stuff, stuff we're gonna get rid of. This is the front room. Just kind of an overview of where we're starting and what things are looking like this morning. We just got here and to say I'm a little nervous, oh, sorry, I haven't cleaned that yet. <laughs> uh, to, that's for my dogs. To say I'm a little nervous about checking out what the paint looks like is an understatement. It was quite an investment to have someone do the painting. And I've been up here and I've looked at it, but I haven't seen it when it's been cleaned up, like the paper's been gone. I haven't seen the green in the bathroom. <sighs> and so, I'm nervous. I'm nervous and I hope I like it. I hope I love it. Ugh, there's so much pressure when you're painting your entire house one color. And yeah. So I can see that uh, there's still some, like the, the garbage. He's coming to pick up all the garbage, um, like the papers and the covers and all that stuff right now. I did bring up here my two pressure canners. I did not want the movers moving my pressure canners because... I just felt like I didn't want them jostled. I didn't want the gauges to be, you know, bumped or tapped or anything because those are so important that they're handled with care. And um, I I just didn't trust the movers with the pressure canner. So I brought those up here. So we got to bring those downstairs and put those in the food storage room where we're going to put our food preservation stuff. So let's go inside and see what it looks like. Oh, I'm nervous. Can't really see anything through the window. Now this is phase one. They will be back to do phase two after the new doors are installed and Josh puts the trim up in the bonus area and things like that. So only phase one today. I'm already a little nervous because this is the green color for the bathroom and that does not look like the color I chose. Uh, I'm so scared. need some lights on. All 
Oh, I like it. I think I really like it. <sighs> okay. I think I like it. Let's turn some lights on. Well, that, those lights didn't work. So we did tell them not to put the covers back on because that's a project Josh and I are gonna work on ourselves. These are the ones that were already replaced because we paid the electrician to do the replacement on that. But all the outlets that are beige are gonna be white here soon. So yeah, I think, I think I like it. It's definitely warm, which is what I wanted. It's beige, <laughs> but it's, oh, okay. I love the green color. It turned out so perfect. Now there are a couple things I'm seeing. <laughs> I forgot to tell them I wanted this white. So when they come back to do phase two, I'm gonna go ahead and ask them to paint this white. There's a couple little things like right here. There's some green paint on the tile, but I'll be able to scrape that off. There is a little bit, I think when they pulled the tape up, there's a little bit of green that didn't get painted there, but that's easy to fix. And like I said, this is only phase one, but this looks so good. I love it. And when the vanity's back in here, oh my goodness, this is probably my favorite room. I was so worried when I saw that paint can out there this morning, I was like, that is not the color I wanted. Now, I do have to say, I for sure know that that needs to be painted white. That's just, it's too, 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 too much green right there. And it makes sense why they painted it green. I never told them I didn't want it green. And it, you know, the wall comes here and over there. But, okay, that's super easy to fix. And that is 100% my fault. Let's go down here. Oh, I, I do really like it. Oh, I love, okay, laundry room. I love this color. I'm really, the longer I'm in here, I did come up here yesterday and I was so nervous because all the brown paper was still on the floors and I just thought it looked too brown, but it's definitely, it's definitely a beige taupe color, but it's not like brown, if that makes any sense. And this area is one of the areas where they didn't paint the trim down here because we have to put the door in before but they painted all the closets white so everything has a fresh coat of paint which is awesome because the washer and dryer are going to go in here i did have a thought this morning i should have we should have taken these down because i don't think those are going to go there long term and so they could have painted behind that but that's okay because josh and i can paint that but i have to say the way they painted around the trim looks so professional and clean and good that is just look at the perfection they did with the paint job around that piece of trim. Stunning. When Josh and I painted our first house, or when I painted our first house, I painted it with a brush, and Josh redid all the trim, and the biggest, biggest reason we wanted to hire painters was so that they could spray the trim and there would be zero brush strokes on it. You, it's. Painting ceilings is easy, except for the fact that you have to use a roller above your head and so it can get tiring. But painting trim to have such a nice, beautiful, professional finish, you have to spray. And the prep work for that is so much work. They spent three full days prepping everything. They sanded everything, even though I sanded it all, they went back and sanded it. They painted all these doors. They sanded every single one of the doors before they painted. And that is a fantastic because all those doors were brushed with the paintbrush when they were painted the first time. These are excellent quality, solid doors that came in the majority of the house. And that's why we're matching all these doors with the rest of the house. But they had really messy paint strokes on them. And they're looking fantastic. We wanted to keep these doors because the quality is awesome. And I have a weird thing about doors. Um, I just had this weird thing about, I like solid wood doors. 
They look so good. I wish I took a before because I didn't, I didn't, and it's because I didn't know that they were gonna sand them. I thought they were just gonna paint them. And so I thought they were gonna have brush strokes because I, I just wasn't here the first time that they were here to do the bid. And they, the, I'm telling you these painters, they did an excellent job. Josh is texting me, so I need to see what he needs because the movers might actually already be at the house. I love that green so much. And once we replace these, I think I'm gonna do, cause this is, um, what is this, brushed? nickel i'm either going to do chrome or i'm going to do copper uh i think that copper would be really really pretty in here because that's what the the drawer pulls look like but we'll just have to see what i end up doing there that was josh texting me and asking if we could have a dog sitter watch orbit in tipero because we need all the doors open and we don't really have a good place to put them while a bunch of movers so I don't think the movers are here yet, but this is what it's looking like in here. I really am liking this color with these cabinets because I think it just brings down, they're not so, the cabinets don't seem so bright. So I'm loving it. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you when I was here the other day that I did not ask them to do, but they went ahead and did, is they painted these cupboards, or ca I don't know what you would even call these slide out things here and that right there. I did not ask them to do that and they did that and it just looks so much better. And then in here, I had them paint just the white trim color in this whole area. We are getting a door for this closet. This is gonna be like my broom closet. And so once we get the door, Josh will be able to finish out the trim. But I'm really excited to have an area to put cleaning supplies. I'm gonna get a stick vacuum, or I have a stick vacuum, but I'm gonna mount it right here so that I can just whip a vacuum out and vacuum the floors really easily. These are all the outlet covers. And the cool thing about this is I can donate these to Restore. So these can all be reused and someone else can enjoy them and I don't need to put them in the garbage and I'm really, really excited about that. One thing that is a little bit of a bummer is the painters originally were supposed to be done two days ago but do you remember how we had to push it back one day? And it was a good thing for us because we were not done on the part we needed to be done on. But what happened is I had someone that was gonna come in and do a deep clean in like all the cupboard drawers. I'm, the painters are gonna clean this up today, but do a massive deep clean. And that was supposed to happen yesterday, but she's not able to come until Tuesday. Today's Monday, by the way. And so, that is a little bit of a bummer that we couldn't get that really, really, really deep clean done before we start moving our stuff in, but it is what it is. And I'm just grateful that we have help. That went fantastic. I got the pressure canners out of the car. I'm gonna head down to go help Josh and we're gonna drop the pups off. I think that's just gonna be a lot easier having them spend the night somewhere where we don't have to worry about them escaping because we have doors open with movers and all the things. This is gonna be a good day. Good day, I'm super happy with the paint. Hear that barking? That is why we're bringing the dogs to the dog sitter orbit. Tibro, stop. So the movers were very grateful for all the stuff we've already done. I'm gonna go ahead and continue to purge and get rid of stuff as I kind of uh, clear out cabinets because there were definitely areas that I didn't get to. And the Goodwill Donation Center does not open till 10 a.m and it is only 9.20 right now, so when I drop the dogs off, I'm gonna go to Goodwill too. So like these vases that have been up here for two and a half years and I've never used them, they're going to Goodwill. Also, any food that we don't wanna pack, Josh is not eating Frosted Flakes right now. These used to be his midnight snack. So this, the Cheerios and these Rice Krispies, those were for Christmas recipes I was making. I'm gonna start kind of taking this stuff and I didn't pack it earlier and all of this stuff is gonna to go to the chickens. It was definitely fun to have some company in the kitchen with me packing. One of the mover slash packers is in there and we were having fun hanging out together. I wanted to go through this coffee mug cupboard before they did so that I could get rid of a few things. Chickens just got that cereal. They really enjoyed it. It's looking really good out here. Feels good to spend just a couple minutes out in the garden and just really appreciate what's happening out here. There's definitely a lot of neglect, but that's okay. 
next year, the garden will be my absolute number one focus and I'm excited about that. But right now my focus is split a little bit and that's okay. I got that coffee mug cupboard all taken care of. And so the next area I thought I would go ahead and focus on is my spice cabinet. I am gonna totally revamp the way that my spices are organized at the new house. I'm not exactly sure what that plan is yet. I just know that I want it to be a little bit more functional. So in this box, because it was a pretty big box, I put a bunch of spices in the bottom. And then I tried to think of a couple things that were a little bit lighter, even though Josh and I are not gonna be the ones picking this up. I didn't wanna load the entire box with spices. So I put some Ziploc bags, uh, the next layer and then I went ahead and put a pillow and then I'm just gonna keep packing until the Goodwill Donation Center opens up. It's 10 a.m. now and I'm gonna drop off all the Goodwill stuff. Well, it's actually, it's 10.02 and they haven't even opened and there's probably four or five or six cars. I can't see all of them because there's so many cars lined up. So this is gonna take a minute because I have nowhere to put the dogs right now. So I need to get this stuff out of the car so I can go back, get the dogs and get the dogs dropped off. Oh, I wanted to mention, I have the best family in the entire world. I, my mother-in-law and her mom, who's in town from out of town because there's some other family stuff and events that were happening this weekend, uh, are actually going and cleaning out the drawers in the kitchen and they are going to sweep and mop, which is a huge blessing because then if that is done, then I can at least start unpacking. Otherwise, I would just leave all the boxes full until we get that everything clean. And it'll be really, really nice to have the floors clean so that we are moving stuff in and the floors are clean where the boxes and things are gonna be set. So huge, huge blessing. I did not expect that and I'm really grateful for that. So I'm gonna get this stuff dropped off. Here is the before of what my car looked like and here is the after. And I'm just really glad to continue to downsize. Renee took a little bit of footage of them sweeping and mopping. So I want to say a huge thank you to you, Renee, and Sharon, which is Josh's grandma, for coming out and blessing us by mopping our floors. The movers are working on some other areas, so I figured I might as well get the laundry packed up. And I'm going to put this in my car so I know exactly where it's going. I've got some clean towels and sheets in here that need to be folded. I'm just going to throw stuff in this box. I'm not even going to close it. I'm going to leave these two laundry baskets just like this. I'm going to put them in my car so I can move them just like this. And then I'm going to take these clothes and just lay them on top of that basket. And I'm going to move it like that. Every bit that Josh and I do, it's a little less they have to do. After I dropped off the stuff at Goodwill, our dog sitter actually texted and said she was driving by our house and she was willing to pick up the dogs, which was a huge, huge blessing. Our dog sitter used to be one of my patients and that is how I found her. And I'm just super grateful that she was able to do that because that was a huge relief for Josh and I. It was just one less thing that we had to worry about in the back of our mind. And they were gonna have way, way, way more fun at the dog sitter's house than they were sitting in one of the bathrooms for two or three days while we had to move all this stuff. The last thing we would wanna do in the middle of this would be to lose our pupperoos while they decided to go on an adventure with one of the doors open and we didn't notice. So after I got the laundry room packed up, I went up into the guest room slash my office and I thought, you know what, I have time. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bed kind of packed up. The way that the packers build was they pay they build per hour so the more josh and i could get done and work alongside them the less they had to do and the more affordable this project was for us so the whole time i'm working josh is working and they're working and we're just working together to get this done as quickly and efficiently as possible and we are grateful we were able to have them help us because we had um, some family emergencies on my side of the family and there was some fun stuff happening on Josh's side of the family. And so it just was a blessing that we were able to enlist the help of some professionals. So they're completely done packing and it's 1221 right now. It took them about two and a half hours and they quoted us four hours. So that's awesome. That's why Josh and I were working, helping them pack as much as possible because even though they gave us a quote, that's not the actual bid. If you, they work less, we pay less and so we were willing to work. I have my car completely filled with all of our laundry. I just took all that laundry from the laundry room and stuck it in here so at least we have clothes. 
they are going to put our bed in our bedroom so we're going to sleep up in the new house for the first time tonight we weren't even sure with how this whole thing was going where we were going to sleep new house or that house we just had no idea and so now it feels good i have clean sheets i have clean linens i have everything is clean that's going to be going on the bed up there i'm going to stop just into our local grocery store and pick up some lunch for josh and i and then i'm going to head up to the new house renee and my and Josh's grandma, they have swept, mopped, and vacuumed the entire house, which is awesome. That's the biggest thing that was like, oh, I just didn't want to put boxes on like dusty floors. And so I'm really, really grateful they were able to do that. And now they're just like vacuuming out the kitchen cabinets. I just talked to them and asked them if they wanted lunch when I was stopping to get some lunch. And they said they probably are already going to be done by the time I get up there. So that's pretty exciting. So this is going a lot faster than both Josh or I were anticipating. <laughs> that is a fantastic thing. Am I fulfilling the stereotype? <laughs> I love pickles, I've always loved pickles. I saw a jar of pickles and I had to have one. So I'm gonna eat that on the way up there since I'm a little hungry. And I thought that would be an easy snack that I could just snack on on the way up there. So we got ourselves some lunch. I did buy a few extra things, super easy snacky type foods so that we, for the next few days, have just a little bit of stuff. So we're set on food. I am putting no pressure on myself to, I do have some freezer meals available and we have some leftovers in the fridge that we can eat and things like that. But I'm going to try not to put any pressure on myself that if we end up needing, you know, to pick up food, that's okay. That's just what, what it is right now. So let's go up there. And I'm excited. So good. Josh and I decided to switch spots. So I came back down here and I'm kind of overseeing the movers. This is what my front room looks like right now. And it looks like there's a couch right there up on its side and all sorts of pictures and stuff that I never even hung up in here. Up here, let's see, I haven't been up here yet. This was our media room and it looks like it's pretty much packed up. They are working on taking apart the couch and bringing the couch downstairs. And I'm really glad that I'm not the one doing that. I found a bunch of slippers behind the couch that I need to take care of. This is our bedroom, almost all taken care of. And this is my office slash guest room. And this one's looking pretty empty too. So we're definitely, definitely making some good progress here. I can't believe we got rid of so much stuff. Five carloads and we still have this much stuff. It's amazing how fast stuff accumulates. I'm check my husband's office. Oh wow, pretty empty. He is a drummer. So normally there is a bunch of drums right here. So those are already gone, so it's great. Here is the living room and it is about halfway done. We do have carpet scheduled to go in on Wednesday and so the whole entire house needs to be cleared out by Tuesday so that can happen. It looks like they still need to move the grow lights and the dining room table is taken apart and the freeze dryer needs to be moved. This is the outdoor furniture that still needs to be packed up and here goes part of my couch going into the truck along with the other couch that was upstairs. And the last thing that I see them end up putting in here is the freeze dryer. This here is the freeze dryer. That is about 200 pounds and I'm glad I am not the one moving that. I am actually sitting here for about 15 minutes just watching them. They are working away. So while they're working and I really don't have that much to do, I'm gonna go see how the blueberries are doing. I don't have any bowls that I can think of that if they're ready that I can put the blueberries in. But I've noticed that there's some animal that is eating our blueberries. Mm. So, yeah, we're having a lot of blueberry damage this year. I've never had that before. And I don't know what it is. I've read that deers don't eat blueberries. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. But... Let me show you something. All of these areas should be covered in blueberries and I did not pick those and something has eaten them. And so I think the blueberry harvest this year, unfortunately is not gonna be as good as last year. Last year I still have about three gallons worth of blueberries. 
but I'll take what I can get. These are really, really good. Yeah, something, something's been eating these. And it's not been me or Josh. The truck is fully loaded and we're gonna head up to start unpacking now. There the truck goes. I'm gonna follow right behind. And I did stop and pick up some snacks for them so that they would continue to be motivated. And all the boxes were labeled with the room that they were packed in. And we went through and kind of told them what the name of the new rooms were. So we didn't really have to do much. They knew exactly where to put things. One other really nice thing was the doors were painted and they went ahead and moved the doors to where Josh is going to install the doors. Those are very heavy doors because they are solid. So that was really nice. They were willing to do that. Part of the reason they did that is because all the doors <laughs> were in the way of where some of the furniture needed to go. And whatever they took down they would put back together so the beds that were taken down they put those back together the tables anything that they disassembled they reassembled except for this couch josh and i spent probably an hour <laughs> discussing where this couch should go this is a huge sectional that we bought we got it as a wedding gift or we didn't get the couch as a wedding gift, but we got gift cards to where we bought the couch from a couple different people and it does not fit this space really well. So we were just sitting there going around and around and around multiple times trying to figure out where exactly this couch should go. And we settled on something, but I know that it's not going to be probably its permanent situation. Did I no, my mom did. I think I had to pick it out. Oh, really? Yeah. You wanted that high? Where do you want oh, it? yeah, that looks nice. You, you, you just saw me where to put it. I like it. Perfect. Maybe a little bit lower. Oh, no, that looks good. A little bit lower. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, that looks great. Awesome. When we purchased the last house, we spent our time and resources building the garden. And that was a huge sacrifice for Josh to focus on my dream on the garden. And what took a back turn was the inside of the house. I have a lot of artwork and a lot of decor and things. And I love doing that type of stuff, design, but we just didn't have the time or resources in order to focus on really making the inside of our home feel like the inside of a cozy home. We just never got around to making it our own by putting our stamp on it. And this house is already starting to feel more like our home and our style and somewhere that is gonna be a comfy refuge for Josh and I. And I'm just really, really grateful for that. So I'm making the bed so we have a place to lay our heads tonight. Okay, sounds good. We have a place to sleep tonight, which is awesome. And I do know where our pillows are. I was a little worried about that. That was something I probably would have put in my car if I had realized, but they did a great job. And it's starting to feel like home already. I'm loving how it's coming together. It's just so nice to have furniture in here. I have to say this place honestly feels more like home than our last home ever did because we've already started to put our stamp on it dining room table. This is going to be a huge project. <laughs> oh, so many boxes. Thankfully, we have this pantry that we're going to be able to put a lot of this stuff in. And I can't wait to go ahead and unpack it. Um, we do have the lady that's coming to do a serious deep clean and she's going to come Wednesday because they did phase one of the move. So there's still things they need to move like the um, our deep freezers, washer and dryers, um, our, my grow light station, and a couple of just random miscellaneous stuff. So I don't want the deep, deep clean to happen in here until the final move is done. So tomorrow morning we have to get up and we have to be down at the other house at 8 a.m. so we can let them in. And I'm gonna have to unpack my two deep freezers because they're full of meat and clearly they can't move either of those freezers with them completely packed. So that's something I have to do tomorrow. 
And I feel like I'm missing something, like there's something else. Josh, is there anything else I have to do tomorrow other than that? Maybe we'll start organizing the kitchen. I don't know. I said, is there anything I have to do other than unpacking the freezers? I should have you probably do a freezer cooking meal. Oh. Like a whole freezer. A whole meal. freezer cooking day? Yeah. Like Twenty two meals for the next month or so. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was telling the movers because they were like, that's a big project getting this stuff undone. And thankfully, we do have some freezer meals that I can pull out and cook. And there will be no serious cooking in this kitchen for quite some time. So I'm glad that I did do that big bulk cooking freezer meal day not that long ago because we're going to be relying on that. But tonight we are heading down right now to go have dinner with my mother-in-law because Josh's grandma is still in town. So I don't have to do any cooking tonight and I'm really excited about that. So I think we're going to head over there right now. So thanks for hanging out with us as we got so much stuff done today. If you want to watch more of my videos, I'll put them right there. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, friends. Oh, I have my retainers in if I'm talking funny. <laughs>